Uh, okay, I do have voice. <laughs> Test. Check, check. Okay, we'll see if we can get a little stuff done while voice is working. Um, can I hear anybody else speak? Somebody say something. Something. Okay, good. Um, thank you. Uh, let's see. So, viewers in the pipeline, the usual... Projection. Right now, the only release candidate we have out is the mate viewer. We have uh, a few project viewers. Um, Bakes on Mesh um, and the Animesh viewer. Animesh, of course, requires server-side support, and right now that's only available on the, on the RCs on Agni. Um, that's not going to change next week because uh, it's kind of a broken up week with the U.S. holiday right in the middle. So we're kind of treating it as a high risk changes are not acceptable. And so we're just not going to do much. Uh, there won't be a lot of changes next week. Uh, so that's going on. We will probably have a new release candidate viewer the following week to test the new uh, the bug splat. Uh, it will basically be exactly the same as the default release viewer, but with uh, bug splat bug reporting instead of um, the uh, instead of our homegrown solution. And we'll see. We'll use that to evaluate whether or not we're gonna we're gonna do that. Uh, yes. Well, well. There, there's. I think there's one Windows bug that's um, that's still being worked on. Hopefully, we'll have that fixed by the end of the day today. Um, So that's coming, uh, and let's see, other things that are likely to come out. Um, we, it looks as though we're not too far away from having an EAT viewer, but that won't be distributable until we get some backend changes uh, rolled. It needs a new iteration of the inventory service that knows how to handle the new inventory types because now wind light settings will be inventory objects. Um, so you'll get a new settings folder and those will go in the settings folder. Uh, and you can apply them by just dragging them out. Um, if you have the appropriate rights. Um, yeah, so we're, we're, we're beginning to play with that more widely within the lab, but of course, right now it only works on uh, 
one of our test grids. But uh, as soon as we have the back end ready, I think we'll we'll be, which I'm guessing will be at least three weeks. But um, uh, I'm not sure, Kitty, whether whether we got that or not. Um, there, yeah, I'm not sure how quickly the new LSL functions for applying uh, environment settings will come out. They, they're not, we're right now, we're, we've built, we've got all the back end stuff working. It's in test, except for that. And then uh, we're trying to wrap up getting the viewer working uh, and getting the last few features into the viewer. The viewer will then, so then once the back end gets rolled to the grid, we'll be able to put the project viewer out. People will begin to be able to see it. Um, it will be completely compatible. That is, if you're on a region that doesn't have the new back end support, it will display the old style settings. If you're on one that does the new things, it will do the new style settings. Um, and then we'll, uh, and and then once that viewer is out and in test, we'll start working on the LSL functions, the experience mediated LSL functions that uh, will let you override the settings on a per user basis, which is a very cool feature, but it's kind of last in line because until until there's a viewer out there and everybody can use it everywhere, those functions are pretty much useless anyway. Um, so uh, that's all that's all coming, um, and we're making great progress on it. So I'm typing as fast as I can. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and I'm I'm doing my best not to give him other work to do so that we we keep the progress on that moving. Um, let's see. Uh, and that's pretty much what's in the viewer pipeline at the moment. Um, of course, lots of things are kind of coming to a head once Animesh and EEP and Bakes on Mesh are out. We'll have to begin a new round of stuff. Um, but, uh, we'll see. I think, I think more of our development will be focused server side for a little while after that. Uh, but there will doubtless be some viewer improvements, and of course there will all. There's always a steady stream of of bug fixes to work on. So we'll be we'll be doing that. Uh, but I think there will be enough of a slowdown that maybe uh, people will have a chance to get caught up. Um, we have a couple of open source contributions that are still in the works: the camera presets viewer um, and uh, the port of the poser feature f uh, from the Black Dragon viewer um, is an ongoing activity, and we're we're moving those along. Last time I asked about experiences. Da -da 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 -da. Um, I, I don't remember which one that was, Kitty, so I, I can't really respond. Right. Okay. Um, that's that's not really what he meant. Uh, I I guess you could read it that way, but that 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 wasn't 
Um, yeah, there's, uh, we have some ongoing discussions about that, and it's possible that we will change things so that it's no longer possible to create scripts that have that quality. That is, it's not clear to me that it should be possible to uh, sell next owner to, to create scripts with next owner transfer permissions. Um, so we're, we're thinking about that. No, it's not fixable on the viewer side. Um, so other than, uh, other than using it to attach RLV objects for users that have RLV enabled, um, which obviously could do some kind of irritating and obnoxious stuff, um, we're not aware of anything really terrible that's being done with it. If, if we become aware of such a thing, uh, we always have the possibility of, of blacklisting that script and just destroying all copies of it. Um, obviously, we, given that it's pretty popular, that would be disruptive and we'd rather not do anything disruptive. So, so, but we're, we're definitely aware of the general problem and, and probably going to make some change to how experiences work to address that. Um, okay, let's see. Other stuff that's going on. Uh, of course, the land price reduction takes effect next week. We'll be interested to see how that goes. Um, and uh, in a few weeks, we'll be having our annual get everybody who works on Second Life together and have a big conference. Uh, that's happening towards the end of July. Right, the, the Linden dollar buy fee goes up by, what was it, 50 cents? So that's, you know, part of our ongoing attempt to shift the our our earnings from being as narrowly focused on land and broadened to the wider economy and that's a strategic initiative that will continue um and no i don't have any details on when or how Uh, it will be it will be interesting to see what it does to the Linden dollar market. I am not in any way prepared to guess. And even if I was prepared to guess, I wouldn't say anything about it. So uh, the other thing that will be happening very soon is that we will be coming out with the new uh, auction system. Um, that's a couple of, <laughs> uh, that's, that's due in a couple of weeks. It's in testing now and doing very well. Um, so the last of the last of the auctions, the plan is for the last of the auctions on the old system to, 
take place to end by the end of next week, and then we will begin using the new system, and there will be a, a couple of weeks during which uh, a, we will continue to allow only Linden-created auctions, and we'll use the new system to do that. Um, if if the if the new system works out well, uh, then we will um, hopefully by the end of the month, by the end of July, we will enable resident created auctions. You'll be able to sell your parcels using the auction system. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very interested in how that is going. If you have parcels that uh, I'll give you a, a heads up, if you have a parcel that you think you're going to want to sell that way, um, start making a nice looking place page for it because that's where the, the place pages are where the uh, auctions take place. So. Um, I think that's that's all I've got that I'm ready to talk about. Any issues that we should discuss? Uh, the change to um, I believe that change was was intentional um, and I don't expect it to go back. Um, Let's see, what, uh, so Vivox, let me make sure I've got the numbers right. So we have a test viewer that has, in fact, I'm running it. Yeah, that is that version of Vivox. So I'm, I guess I'm one, one build further ahead than, than the one. Yeah, uh, there will be an update to that um, coming. But Vivox has promised me a new SL voice um, real soon now. Um, when that comes out, I will probably take the the voice viewer that I'm running now and, and move it forward as a project and uh, so forth. Um, the 4.9 versions require viewer code changes that have been in viewer release for quite some time. Um, it does not require any, it, it's, there's no difference from the server side. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about voice on OpenSim.
how do people use, are there open SIM grids that, that pay Vivox to provide voice services? Hmm. I wonder if Vivox knows that they provide it free to open SIM. I don't, I don't know. Ah, okay. That's probably what it is then. Yeah, I, I have no idea what that, what, what implications there are to that. Yeah, it would be really good if that wasn't happening next week. Uh, I think I'm not going to get into when the, exactly when the conference is. No, it's, uh, it's, it's the second to last week in July is when we're all getting together. Uh, I mean, we'll have, as far as I know, we'll have normal support coverage and so forth. It's, it's not, it's not everybody. <laughs> we can't, we can't sort of shut the product down for a week and talk. Yeah, as long as you don't do it next week, that's fine. Um, okay, any other hot topics? <laughs> uh, I, I'm not, I'm not making any predictions about final release of Animesh. That's too big and complicated for me to take guesses with. Um,
The plan is working, Beck. Hopefully not long after Animesh gets out, we will begin doing uh, more of our experiments with how to modify uh, or what the new formulas should look like on the uh, for calculating ARC and land impact. Um, but that's going to be that's going to be a very slow process deliberately. Any other hot topics we need to touch on, or do we all get to start our weekend a little early? Hey, it's toasty here. That's good. I, my pond is too cold. Thanks, Worley. I'll check it out. Okay, everybody. Thanks very much for coming. And uh, let me see, just next meeting is in fact on Friday, July 13th. Uh, so we'll see you then.